rivers. Manitowoc County here, right on the lake. Boy, this cobblestone is in a great location. Right on the water, right in the heart of downtown. Welcome. Hi. Eric Paulson checking in. Alrighty. What brings you into Two Rivers? Well, there's a lot of cool stuff here I want to see. You're right in the heart of downtown, so I can walk to Roger Street Fishing Village, which is cool. I want to check out the Hamilton Wood Type Museum. All right. There's your room keys. Enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Whoa. This is a sweet, sweet. Wow, look at that view. East Twin River, West Twin River, the confluence, the harbor. Man, the water's moving around. I love it. Gorgeous shot of Lake Michigan and the boats on it. And a nice south view here. I can even see Manitowoc. Gorgeous. There's the bedroom hole. Oh man. How cool is this? That's a nice huge bed. I gotta try it. Ah. Yeah. Me likey. Hey Eric, how you doing? Eric, good to see you. Really nice to have you here. Great to be here. Can I get you a glass of wine? Sure. So, Salud. how did this cobblestone come to be? I mean, your location is remarkable. You know, I grew up in the area. I uh, yeah, love Two Rivers in the Manitowoc area. Uh, we were recognizing the fact that this town hadn't really turned itself to Lake Michigan. And so when we drive past here and we look at, you know, there was nothing facing the water. It was a perfect spot for a hotel, and we knew that we had natural resources here, such as the river, the lake, the beaches we talked about, that would bring people to our town if they had a nice place to stay, and we had a great location for being able to do that. So that's really was the genesis for us, starting that down the road of a hotel for the Two Rivers community. And it's easy to walk to so many places nearby. I mean, the Rogers Street Fishing Village, very, very cool spot. The Washington House, Main Street up and down, uh, the UFO store where you can buy kites and all kinds of outdoor equipment and everything. You know, whether it's you know, local food or unique bistros, we have them all within walking distance. And that's a big part of, at least for my preference, where I stay, that when I get there, I can leave the car, I can walk to where I want to go. Obviously, this is a hospitality-driven business. What's your philosophy? I mean, you've, you've had this for about a year now and been dealing with a lot of people from a lot of places. How do you like to bring them in, welcome them, and make sure they come back? So my philosophy when it comes to hospitality in general is basically treat people the way that I would want to be treated, and that is to experience the community for what it is and be able to have a clean, helpful, friendly hotel to stay at for the evening. Well, Rick, thanks for all the info. Lovely hotel, and I'm looking forward to seeing everything around it. It was my pleasure. I'm really glad you had to spend some time here. Holy cow, she doesn't look happy to be getting married. Is this like the first known instance of a bridezilla? We have Coast Guard provision here, Native American Indian artifacts. There's much to see. So as you may have heard, Two Rivers is the birthplace of the ice cream sundae. Back in the 1880s, the first ones were made here. And at the historic Washington House, you can experience one for yourself in a replica of the original ice cream parlor. I'm getting a rhubarb, that's the special today. Ah, here we go. Sunday to go, straight from the source. This is great. The rhubarb is good for you, right? So health food, maybe. Hey Dennis, good to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome right. to the Hamilton Wood Type and Printing Museum. Great to be back here. I've been here before, but now I get a chance to show you this place. And Dennis here knows everything about it. So here's a piece of information. If you were a printer, you would have your capital letters in one case, mm -hmm. alphabetical backwards, it would be up here. Your small letters would be in a case down here. So if you're printing, if you want a capital letter, you go to the uppercase. 
If you oh. want a small letter, you go to the lowercase. So that's where that. That's where that came from. So this is a yard of beer. Gotta lift up, lift out, and just enjoy. Another good way to discover Wisconsin. Ah, had a really good night's sleep. Looking forward to Point Beach State Park and a bunch of other fun stuff here in Two Rivers today. But first, a nice hearty breakfast. Let's see what they have here. You know, I always enjoy a good quality breakfast here at Cobblestone. Helps you get going right. Even good stuff where you can season your food and ah, good start to the day. It is really gorgeous here at Point Beach State Forest, just north of Two Rivers, along the Lake Michigan shore. You can hear the roar of the waves. It is absolutely beautiful with the sand dunes and the Raleigh Point Lighthouse right here, which has been here since 1894. And the light up there can be seen out on the lake up to 28 miles away. So, Chow, people are telling me to go fly a kite all the time. This is the place to be. Yes, right. we have all kinds of kites for you to uh, try out. Now, every year, though, you draw a ton of people to Two Rivers with your annual kite festival. Yeah, this is going to be our 16th year. And generally, when we had it at the beach, we drew about anywhere from 25 to 30,000 people for both days. That's very cool. This is one of the more colorful stories you can possibly walk into. That's what we are, you know, anything that flies and moves and colorful, you know, we try to have them. I see flying dragons and sharks, man. It's like a Pink Floyd concert in here. <laughs> <sighs> Another great stay at a cobblestone. Here in Two Rivers, I had a phenomenal room where I literally got to see the Two Rivers and Lake Michigan and a nice view of the town. I love the parks, the museums, and of course the ice cream sundae. I'm Eric Paulson, I'll see you next town.